So the next step is the motor. Now, this little motor is able to be completely submerged into the water, which is very interesting. So today's video is a little different. Well, maybe not, because we've did a few of these. As you know, we have two dogs. They'll be the last two dogs that we ever have. And we have made a few videos on pet products. Now me, I like to go out and about and do things. And uh, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work to be here at five or six o'clock to feed your dog. So we've got automatic pet feeders for both of the dogs. We also have a water fountain that they really like. Well now, thanks to this company, we will have a second water fountain that they will like. The first one I bought myself, but this one was sent to me courtesy of this company to actually make a video for them. I didn't make a video on the first one, but this is a magnetic pet fountain. You can kind of see it's magnetized right in the middle and it makes a little fountain for them to drink the water from. For some reason, our dogs like this way better than standing water. When we put them side by side, they don't even touch the standing water. They only want to use something like this. So I figured a second one wouldn't be bad. And of course, I would gladly make a video for this company to show more people how these work and how you set these up and what they actually do. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgedclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this pet water fountain. All right, so now let's open up this pet fountain. You can kind of see essentially what it looks like right here. It's like a little whale tail or something I like that. Give your pet a healthy life, pet fountain. Plant today for a greener tomorrow. Premium pump, powerful and reliable, okay? I think on the bottom, this side just has the model. This is the CIPS 1910. And just manufacturing information and the back same, same picture as the front so let's cut all this tape there's a lot of tape around it this is actually how it was sent to me not in a box literally threw my sticker on the back and just melt it so take this out of here wow. and then bang. Oh, okay well that, that was that so we have a full little user's guide here that printed upside down it looks like but hey that's you know, oh okay it opens up there we go gotcha gotcha okay all right sweet take this out of here all right let's take off this top part here and then underneath here we have this is apparently a tail cleaning brush that's what I just read from those instructions. So this, I think, literally just slides in there to uh, kind of just be a looker, you know? Very interesting. Uh, then what else we got here? We've got, this is the top. So this looks like this. So this looks like this. We'll go in there, like so. All right, all right. That's probably power brick and stuff, foam. Hey, look at that, they gave us some filters. Very nice, three filters instead of one, okay. And those filters seem to go in here, so this does rotate some kind of way. Yeah, there we go, line up the holes and pull it out. Then you're able to take one of your filters, open up your filter, drop your filter in place, and then this part is able to just go back on and turn. Like so. Very nice and easy. I'm loving it. I love it when stuff's easy. So last part, this is most likely the power adapter and stuff like that and the magnetic motor. Yep. So yes, this is the little motor here. Very nice. And then it just plugs in with USB, even has a little on off button it looks like. And then this a little included power brick. So we've did a little bit of the setup here. All that's left is to figure out exactly how to uh, put this in, which I think it will just go on the bottom, but we're gonna verify first. So let me uh, look through these instructions and then we will return with us uh, setting this up and showing you how it works. All right, so we've kind of laid everything out here that we should need, and now I'll show you actually how to put this together. So you saw me already do this part, the filter is in, it's this half is just ready to go, and it does just sit right on top. There's nothing that locks it into place or anything like that. So, and two extra filters, which is great. The next step is the motor. Now, this little motor is able to be completely submerged into the water, which is very interesting, but that's that's just how it works. So here's what you do. You've got a nice couple feet of cable here, maybe three or four feet, and essentially you just take this part and it will sit right down in here, like so. So you kind of you kind of hear it pop in. It's it's in there. Then you take the power cable right here, 
and run it out of this right there. That's, that's really essentially it. Then you just take this half with your power brick, plug them into one another, and then plug your power brick into your wall. So we can scoot it back to kind of show you a little more. So now all that's really left is uh, to add the water and then we'll be able to press the button right there to turn it on. And because I know there's people who think I'm wrong, here is the uh, assembly instructions showing you to do exactly what I just did. So with it all set up, you then just pour in your water. I may not have gotten enough in this actually. Looks like there is enough. And I guess the button was already pressed. So let me, uh... oh, that turns on the light. So it doesn't turn it on. Now it feels stupid. So that turns the light on for you. Now, let me actually undo this for a second just to make it easier. Then you're able to just take your lid and basically this part goes right on to that part so that, you know, the water that was just shooting up shoots through the top of this. Like, there we go. And there's a couple little gaps where you're able to make sure the cable is ran through. And then all you gotta do, plug it in and voila, you now have running water for your dogs. So all you really hear is the sound of the water. There's a little bit of a hum, but not nothing that you'll really notice when you're actually using this. Very nice. Let's see if uh, Buddy will come drink it. Buddy! <gasps> come here. Come here. I got water. You want water? Look. No, no, no. No, no, no. The water. Not me. The water. See the water? There you go. You don't want any water? Water. Look, look. You don't want the water? Buddy, you gotta drink the water. Zappy, do you want some water? You want the water? You want the water? Well, they don't want the water. They love our other one. Zeppi, water? You want the water? Yay, Zeppi drank the water. Is it yummy water? They don't care. Now, now Buddy's more interested in it. He's like, oh, you want the water, Buddy? Not my finger, the water. <laughs> Thank you all for trying. Don't knock over the glass thing, Buddy. You're like a bull in a china shop. All right, well, that is essentially this pet water fountain. Do you like it, Zeppi? Zeppi, come here, come here. The water, the water, <gasps> the water. Aww. He just wants to pat. You just want to be patted. Another little added benefit is when it's off, you can see that these lines don't actually take down all the water. So that way, if you lose power, there's still a bit of water in here for your dog to drink, at least for one or two times while the power is out. So that's a really good feature that our other one does not have. Can you hear it? I definitely hear the water. But well, that'll essentially do it for this pet water fountain. As I mentioned, we've had one of these for probably four or five months, not this exact brand, but another one. And it's actually the only way that our dogs like to drink water. So I'm surprised they didn't just want to drink the heck out of that. But they're actually really, really good. I think cats really like them. Our dogs really like them. And it makes filling up water a little less. Like, you know, these have about 60 -ish ounces of water that it'll hold. So it just makes it a little easier than always filling up a bowl that goes out like every day or two. So personally, I really, really like this product. And again, special thanks to the company for sending it to us. I'll of course have this exact model linked down below if you'd like to grab one, if you'd like to grab one of these for your cat or dog. And can you hear? I don't hear. And that will do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.